I'm a, I guess you would say an experienced hunter. I've been, you know, I have a strong incident response background. I've been working within the InfoSec community for the, you know, past decade. And currently I'm a threat researcher for Endgame and, and leading a lot of our analytic, uh, analytic efforts for the platform. I think of hunting as the proactive pursuit of uh, malicious behaviors within your network. So, you know, a lot of the work for hunting, we need to be independent from IOCs or indicators of compromise. You know, far, far too often we get distracted by these indicators, whether they're network-based indicators like IP addresses, domain names, URLs, et cetera, you know, file, file type indicators, you know, file names, file paths, uh, even hashes for different malware. Uh, but we have to keep in mind that these indicators may seem great, but they have a very short shelf life and the attackers can change these indicators uh, throughout their campaign and we should devote our energy towards behavior-based hunting. Security products today are, are necessary for promoting good network hygiene, I would say. Uh, but unfortunately, we live in a world where attackers understand the limits for a majority of the products that are out there. So they develop tradecraft which evade detection by common security appliances. And as a hunter, we must assume breach and treat, you know, really treat each day like we are responding to an undetected threat or incident. A lot of the forensic incumbent EDR products treat security as a post-mortem exercise. They look at events after you already know something happened. When hunting allows the analyst to actively search for malicious behaviors as they happen to prevent attackers from stealing sensitive information. Requirements can vary, but the bottom line is I would say no one knows your environment better than yourself. And this really gives you your only fighting chance against the attacker. And what I mean by that is, is it's uh, essential to understand what is normal in your network. So then you can examine deviations from the norm. For instance, how can you discern between uh, legitimate and malicious administrator use or activity? Uh, now this can be a daunting task and this is why we look towards various tools to help us in understanding our own network behaviors. You know, I jokingly say I highly recommend getting comfortable with PowerShell and Microsoft Excel because any good hunter out there loves using spreadsheets and they have to keep track of the information that they learn. But in all seriousness, there's, there's a lot of free toolkits out there. You know, Microsoft, sysinternals being one, when you're in a Windows environment, you as a hunter can start examining running processes, network activity, auto-run files, and, and really slowly build your skill set as you look for abnormalities in your network. Uh, but threat hunting in general tends to be a very manual process where, where the different hunters develop their own tradecraft uh, over time. Hunters tend to be more experienced infosec professionals, which can be difficult to hire. You know, a lot of times the best hunters were once IT professionals, which escalated to incident handlers, and then they built their own tradecraft over time. So where Endgame comes in, is you know we try to make a platform that makes hunting easy you know rather than overwhelming the user with alerts or gathering an abundance of data endgame tries to guide the user to suspicious artifacts uh, worth inspecting so in it really in addition to our preventions and detections we provide our own analytics to assist the junior analyst uh, while also making all this information available to the most skilled analyst for in-depth analysis so by using our, really our built-in hunts, the user can quickly investigate their network and respond to any malicious artifacts.